Hey y'all, I'm April. And I'm Caroline. And this is your bloody happy hour. Caroline, are you ready for this? This is your newest guilty pleasure. It's the bloodiest part of your week. Did we say something about it also being happy hour? Show sure did. Because we're about to be sipping on some murder. Bloody happy hour. <laughs> that's why we need to talk about it okay. okay hey y'all this is april and this is caroline this is your bloody happy hour it is it's bloody and it's happy so let's do it and it's turn up tuesday and it's caroline's turn to tell us what's in the news stay tuned after this and we're going to tell you about our episode sponsors so I know you've probably heard about the story that happened back in January, and it was the Tesla. Did you hear about the Tesla that went over the cliff and crashed? Yeah, yeah. Do you know? Any- it's hap- has that happened a couple of times, though, with different Teslas, or this first one? Is there multiple Teslas going over cliffs and crashing? Maybe it's just my own fear, and it's in my head. Okay. Whatever. Well, apparently, everybody needs a Tesla if they're going to go drive over a cliff, because... He lived. They all lived. What, what did the... What did it do? I'm about to tell you. Did it turn into rubber and bounce? I think it did. It was basically <laughs> like a ball. Um, Darmish Patel. We're going to call him Patel. Darmish. He um, is charged with three counts of attempted first degree attempted or attempted murder with enhancements of great bodily injury and domestic abuse after driving himself, his wife, and his two kids over the cliff um, in California, this cliff is called Devil Slide, mm. and the uh, the when the officers showed up, they were saying that people drive. This has happened before. Like people have dr- like accidentally driven over this cliff before, and nobody ever survives. Okay, ever. So you got a four year old boy. He's in a car seat, no injuries, and this is like a rocky yeah like a cliff is 20 a 20 feet is that high 20 feet i don't know super high cliff the car was like completely smashed air but all you know everything they fall over a cliff um seven-year-old girl she was in a car seat she had significant injuries but she is made a full recovery and will have no complications wow um the wife um was in the hospital and they, they were, I, she's out now, so she's able to be out and talk, and she's fine. Mm-hmm. And the driver, which is the husband, Patel, he's fine. Fine. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they both went, it's, they both had injuries. The, the husband and wife had the most injuries, but everybody's alive. Wow. Okay. They so know Jesus, they better know him now. Ex- yes. They're like, officers are like, this, they need to wake up every day and, Thank God that they are alive because yeah. this is a miracle. Yeah. This does not happen. So immediately after the crash, the wife told first responders, he tried to kill us. He intentionally drove us off the side. Shit. And they're like, calm down, calm down. We need to get you medical attention. Okay. So witnesses, because there's. People who are in front of them behind and behind them driving along who see it happen, they're like, we never saw brake lights. Oh. We, and they had come out of this, it's called the Tom Lantos Tunnel off Highway 1. Okay. And they're coming out of this tunnel. With, well, this tunnel has cameras, so this is all on camera. Okay. And so they have the camera, and it is shows this Tesla just going straight over the cliff. Just no brakes, no attempting no to swerve, turn, nothing. nothing. Um, there was no weaving back and forth. There appeared to be nothing mechanically that went wrong with the vehicle. No tail lights were ignited, mm-hmm. and no skidding. And they like go. It's like they go into a gravel area and then just straight off the the cliff. So it's very and purposeful. there's no guardrail. Oh, why did why don't they have a garden? I don't know. They pulled, filled the damn hole of the cliff. I don't know. Put a wall up. I 
build a wall. It's Tell a train Trump. station. <laughs> Put the wall there. Put move the wall from where it's not being used, <laughs> and put it where it didn't where go. people will fall over the cliff. Ugh. yeah. We also I don't know if it's on today's episode or tomorrow's, but we got to talk about all these UFOs because you know Marshall Applewhite is about to come back. Mm, okay. He's on the way. So first responders Nikes. arrived. This is on January second. It's two hundred and fifty feet, not twenty. Oh, it's a big I knew difference. there was a two and a zero. <laughs> You forgot about the five in between. Oh, I did. It's, you know, I did find out that I'm neurodivergent, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> so, um, 250 feet. 250 feet. Yeah. That's real far. It's real high. Um, and the first responders get there and they notice that the everybody is inside the vehicle still moving. And they're like, what? They have helicopters come in to do the rescue, and they lift them off in that, like, um, what do you call it? Ravine? Well, oh. the, w- they use the jaws of life to get everybody out of the car. and they, So this place where they fail is accessible? Like, I'm picturing it's like the Grand Canyon, and you can't even get down there. No, that's why they had to do a ca- get a helicopter to fly, like, a flatbed thing th- to lay them on. Uh. They had to helicopter down there to and even reach them. So they said that uh, they were able to pull the two kids out of the car with the jaws of life. And they, let's see, we w- they said we go there all the time for cars over the cliff and they never live. This was an absolute miracle. So they were dispatched around 10 a.m. on January 2nd. Reports that this car veered off the cliff and it's about 20 miles south of San Francisco. Steep, rocky, winding coastal area, like I said, known as Devil's Slide. Yeah, yeah. Um, initially, they said that the car had flipped several times, but then later they're like, no, it couldn't flip because something about the battery, It's there. there's like heavy batteries on this Tesla that would stop it from rolling, but it's still smashed everywhere, so I don't know. Um, they said that Patel was driving at a speed that, they thought was way too fast. That's like what some of the witnesses said. Mm-hmm. Um, one person called 911 said after he saw the crash, he said, wow, he's driving extremely fast to take that exit. You're not even supposed to be going up that way. Another caller said, I can see in my rear view mirror, this car just go over the edge and straight down. What do you do? Would you have stopped and got out? Oh, yes. Yeah. I would have. If the car just went down. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I would not even have oh. driven on that road. No. Well, Cliff. You might have to. No. The. Oh. Wait, where are we again? What's the state city? We're in California and near San Francisco. Okay. So the helicopter and specialist teams were required to repel. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Repel down. They had to repel down from this oh. helicopter. Down the cliff to the car. Hours later, so it's taken them hours. These people are, like, surviving for hours. And that's when they found the four f- people. Kids are pulled out first through the back window. A rescue basket using a pulley. Mm. That's what they do. It's, like, it's like attached to the mm-hmm. helicopter. And there's this one funny video where the rescue <laughs> spins. And then this, <laughs> it was real funny. Anyway, so this guy's a doctor. Did I tell you he was a doctor? Well, he's a doctor. He and... His wife were the had the most serious injuries, and the neighbors are like talking about, "Oh, this is a great family! Like we're shocked! Like we don't because the r- reports are that it's on purpose." So then the neighbors are like, "They were like this beautiful family. Like what? We're shocked! Oh, yeah, we're always shocked. Oh, of course." So soon enough, Patel, the husband, is arrested, and they had probable cause to say that this was an intentional act. Obviously, there's witnesses, there's video, and there's what the wife said at the very beginning. So he's booked into uh, San Mateo County Jail for correctional facility, and they are now examining the Tesla to see, did the brakes go out? Do they have flat tires? Is there something that could have gone wrong with the car? Um, But so far, there's been nothing that's, shown anything wrong with the car okay but on february 14th oh happy valentine's happy valentine's day 
The defense attorney goes and tells they have like a hearing. Okay. Because it's, it's already been, so it happened on January 2nd, so now February 14th. They have this bail hearing or bond mm-hmm. hearing, whatever. And he's like, oh, the the wife, I can't say her name. It's like, yeah. yeah. Want, doesn't doesn't want to prosecute. What? During the hearing, prosecutors ask the judge, prosecutors, so that's the state, that's not the defense. Yeah. Um, ask the judge to issue a no contact order um, to bar Patel from contacting the wife and the children. Yeah, was he because, her? Because prosecutors said that the suspect tried to kill, I mean, like, because obviously he tried to kill them. All, All of, of them. them right? That's crazy. So the the defense attorneys, the Patel's attorneys, uh, tried to, uh, to block this no contact order. Oh, okay. And they're like, no. Exactly. I don't know. <laughs> what? They said the witness in this matter, because they're like, oh, she doesn't want to prosecute. So we don't need to have a no contact order. Mm-hmm. Now, a word from our sponsors. Frozen, Frozen, Heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, Heroes. Gonna tell you about. Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Mike. And we have a fantastic new podcast to tell you about. Bros, Foes, and Heroes. It's the two of us looking into the world of comics, breaking down some characters that you may have never heard of, and some that are just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so Zach comes up with a character each time, and uh, I go into it just completely blind. I don't know who this person is or what their abilities are or anything, and and basically I guess we kind of go over their origin story and just some of the ridiculous stuff that maybe especially golden age stuff oh golden age stuff is always the best and we will make sure to highlight all of the shenanigans and just absolute weirdness of everything yeah that's right so subscribe today and uh, follow us on instagram at bros bros heroes and if you don't i know where you live not really but please subscribe (laughs) bros and bros and heroes Gonna tell you about pros and foes and heroes. Gonna tell you about. Oh, yeah. Loud. I'm back. KB. <laughs> Woo! Hi, I'm Trey Cooper. I'm Solomon Cooper. And we're the hosts of the Kid Stays in the Podcast. It's a cross-generational discussion about movies. Uh, two perspectives. I'm the young one. He's the old one. And we have I don't some think, fun arguments. I don't think we need to say it that way. You're old. Anyway, whenever you tune in to listen to the Kid Stays in the Podcast, you can expect to hear a very, very intelligent discussion of a film from me and a really uh, imbecilic perspective from Solomon who hates anything that wasn't made after 2007. They're very rude to me. We tried to watch a movie from 1985 once and he really hated it. <laughs> Tune into our show. Hear me roast Solomon week after week. Find us anywhere you get your podcast or on RogueManianetwork.com. Hey, this is Sarah. And I'm Carter. And this is Some of Our Thoughts. We're two Southern sommeliers, and we want to share everything we love and know about wine. We started hanging out during quarantine and cooking and drinking and listening to music, and we just thought this would be a great way to bring everything we know to you guys. We will make wine knowledge and food pairings easy and approachable. So put on your favorite vinyl, grab your favorite glass of wine, tune into our show, and let's have some fun. Wine Wine and vinyl. vinyl. (laughs) So check us out on RogueMediaNetwork.com or wherever you get your favorite podcast. We'll be talking about a lot. (laughs) 
Well, prosecutors are like, the, wa- the wife and the two children need protection. And they said that as the court is aware from domestic violence cases, because you know that's what this is, it is it is often that the victims do not want prosecution. Mm-mm, they're scared. And that is not a new fact. And based on that, we're seeking a full no contact order. The judge granted the order. Okay, good. Thank goodness. So he cannot contact them in any way. He can't write them. He can't call them. And he's still, he's he's not being bailed out. Um, so he can't contact them in any way. And he's he can't come within 100 yards of them. Um, he's pled not guilty, and he's being held without bail. And if he is convicted, he'll face life in prison. And he's supposed to go to court on March 20th for a preliminary hearing. Wow. So maybe we'll find out, like, what she will say his reasoning for that is. Yeah, because... Like, why was he so mad? Did she look him in the eye? Like, is it cultural type stuff? Did he? Did she or they embarrass the family? So then you get punished? Mm-hmm. Did you hear about the principal and the gym teacher Ooh, who were fired after taking videos of themselves having sex in the school bathroom? Uh, how is that even video bull? Like... <laughs> Video bull, video bull. I don't know, but I don't know if it was like during school hours or they're like, hey, 3.30, meet me at the bathroom. I guess that would be exciting. But they they would like have sex, but it was the guy's wife who was filming them. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, so it's three. So it's, my question is, what color? Do they all work at the school? <laughs> what color loofah are they? <laughs> so <laughs> what <laughs> They are the just, lawyer. I, f- yeah, yes. I just feel like everybody's just out there just trying to have a good time. <laughs> like, COVID had everybody real bored, yes, and so yes. they're like, "We need to make up for these lost times." So, I bring this up because this brings me to the Tennessee cop. Okay. Oh uh, wait, <laughs> she's like twelve. Yes. Did you hear about this? I remember her face. Well, gang banging or something. Yes. <laughs> now this she a kid, I she looks like she's fourteen, but she, I don't know how old she is. But she's you can't. She has to be at least twenty something. Yeah. Okay. So this is out of Laverne, Laverne, Tennessee, Laver, Laverne, Tennessee. This girl's name um, Megan Hall. Okay. Let me give you the let me give you the short story, and then I'll go into the details. Okay, you ready for it? Ready. Are you sure? Yes. She's married to this guy. She's married. She tries to, she's married, she hooks up with this one guy who tries to break up with, who she breaks up with him. He gets upset and then he gets into a car wreck. He gets drunk, he gets into a car wreck. And then she starts having sex with this other guy. And then she's having a threesome with this guy, another guy. Wow. And then she... <laughs> She's the real DTF. I can't even keep going. I got to go back to the whole story. So she is... um, Have allegedly had sexual relations with eight of her fellow officers. Okay. And this is what led to her being fired. It's probably going to piss me off. <laughs> But let's see. So the story finally goes viral and there's like memes everywhere and it's great. And they're like, oh, she's a girl boss. Oh, she's this. I know. It's like she she was trying to live her best life. She's living her best life. And men do it all the time. Her husband, Jadidai. Oh, she's married? Yes. Kind of. Yes. So then, so, so this officer has sex with these or not sex, just sexual activities. Because she's giving BJs. She's doing all, like, they're having threesomes. They're having jacuzzi parties. There's video. I don't know if it's, like, body cam video of these things or if it's just, like. But when you have threesomes, you're having sex. Well, I mean, not necessarily. You can have, like, activities, but not, like. Oh. Well, it's, like, BJs considered sex? Yeah. Are those P and the V that, I don't know. <laughs> sexual it's a activities. sexual act. This, what Bill Clinton say? 
I did not have sexual <laughs> relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. So, December 12th, 2022, police department. Oh, just now. Just now. Tennessee Police Department Mayor. Uh, so, Jason Cole was given a give an anonymous tip that this patrol officer, Megan Hall, was giving having sexual relations with other members of the police department. Initially, it was Sergeant Lewis Powell, Officer Patrick Maliko, including his wife in a reported three-way, Officer Larry Holiday. Uh, then there was, like, <laughs> Officer Hall reported, Purportedly partook in a girls gone wild hot tub party with Sergeant Eric Stats at this house. I mean, so she's like at work on the clock and doing the dirty, doing the dirty girls gone wild, girls gone wild. And they have this internal investigation and five of the officers end up being fired. And three of them, including a patrol and a canine officer. Uh, were suspended. She was going to hit all areas. She was going to, let me just go into the canine unit. Let me do the patrol division. She was doing <clears throat> the most. I'm so still ma- I'm only halfway mad at her. So the guy, the one guy who's, it's, so this is like the guy that she was giving BJ's to. He, she's tried to break it off with him. He's the one who got upset. He gets into a car wreck and then she's having sex with this other guy, Larry. And then they were having threesomes with Patrick and Patrick's wife. And then, they're wanting to make out with each other. And then she wanted her husband to join in the foursome, but then that would be like a swinging thing. But then her husband was like, Oh, I'm not really into that. And then there's like some fetish stuff. And then she's like, well, maybe we could do like blowjobs at the j- this jacuzzi party. And then the, they're like, no, I'm not really into that. I mean, this is like, I hope nobody <laughs> she's was real co- bored at home. And so she's, She's at least trying to get her husband's permission to her get a little freaky. Her husband didn't want to have the foursomes, but but he did anyways. I I read two things that he was okay with her doing it, but then I read that he didn't know about that they had an open relationship. <laughs> <laughs> so, so she cheated on him. So with eight people, <laughs> maybe nine. Uh, I guess if you include the wife, time. four at a time. So, I mean, I, th- like we said, this girl, I, the, the husband still sticks by her side. Okay. Well. So, I mean, I guess he's like till death do his part. Yeah. This girl is not very hot. <laughs> <laughs> she's kind of geeky. Would you say? I mean, she's In not opinion. like a super, I mean, I, I. I will tell you if somebody's hot, but yeah. she's not like a super hot, but I think she's like, she's probably just real like horny. The only <laughs> female too around all these guys. And she probably didn't get a lot of attention maybe before. And like maybe and now, when you're not popular and then you find something that you're really good at, like BJ's or something. And then you kind of become popular and you're like, Oh you're yeah, well this is something that I'm good at. And you know, like you might learn how to make a pie, but. She learned how to give a good BJ, so that's what she's going to do. Okay. I mean. She's making up for lost times. Listen, this happens everywhere. Yeah. It's happening at the school. At every job ever. Good Morning America. (laughs) It's happening at Good Morning America. (laughs) It's happening in the church house. Nope. It happened at the church. (laughs) Nobody wants to Zoom because they just want to, they want to go to work now because. (laughs) It's more action at work. So all the, I just, listen, I had to tell this story because it was just pretty. She really does look young and innocent. And there's one thing like to be like young and like be a dirty or whatever. And then, but now everybody knows her scandalous stuff. Oh, and the, the, it's like a meme a thon out there with this stuff. She'll never live that down. No. Cause it's like, you know. People talk all this stuff about the police. So I don't know why. Like, F the police. Well, she did. <laughs> I don't know why they're making a big deal out of it, though. Like, why is this going crazy? I feel like I feel like you could probably. Probably if that was because. A male, 
it wouldn't be this big of a deal. I do agree. Because it happens everywhere. But that's a lot of people at Somebody one just, job. I mean, yeah. And maybe it's a small town. But I still think there's a man out there somewhere but like, that are they has all- screwed eight people at the place that they worked. I guarantee. Now, did they happen... Do they do it all at the same time? Probably no. And maybe that's why that story's being sold. I'm just, but sh- I don't know. I think it's because maybe they're supposed to answer the calls like 911, what's your emergency? Let's send the police officers. Oh, we can't get a hold of them. They're doing a threesome <laughs> at the jacuzzi right now, so we'll call you back. <laughs> well, and I'm sorry if you're murdered. Uh, crazy. I mean, I don't know. Funny stuff. Just stuff. just some thoughts. Yeah. So that's all I have for today. <laughs> well, that was good. We we hit it all. We hit domestic abuse. We hit swingerism. Swingerism? Hit yeah. Ben Dirtleg. So, I mean, <laughs> there you go. There you go. That leads us right into Manscaped. Oh, this episode is brought to you by Manscaped. She could have bought eight boxes for all her boyfriends. I Pretty sure we could still send her a code. Let's tell her, hey, um, any of you out there, whether it's for your husband or your boyfriends or, you know, you got a swing or a hot tub party, bring some Manscaped. Bring it. You Make them smell good. If you're going to be down there, you might as well, yeah, you know. Be nice and might groomed. As, yeah, might, and might as well. All you got to do is go to the website, manscaped.com. Put in the code. BHH. And you get 20% off. It comes pretty quick. And it is free shipping any and any, everywhere. Any and everywhere. If you go to Tennessee and that's where you are and you're a police officer there, you can get it shipped for free there. Yeah. Just if pro- you're at the bottom of a cliff, get it shipped for free there. There you go. It's a win-win. Win-win. And don't forget about Four Sigmatic... Four Sigmatic, Four Sigmatic, oh, drink I could coffee never. like the Finnish people do. It's fortified. It gives you all the great things that coffee does, plus more. I was listening to somebody on a podcast talking about how they get a lot out of their mushroom-based coffee. Uh-huh. That's what it is, mushroom-based coffee. It's Delicious and nutritious. It is. And, I mean, you get all the energy. You get all the focus. All the things. You get... And you get great options. Great experiences from it. After your brain works better. And you get options because you don't have to have coffee. Yeah, you can have cacao. Or? Or protein. elixir. All the things. Or protein. What's their website? Uh, Go.forsigmatic.com slash happy hour. And that one... Is 30% off. 30% off. That's yeah. even more. Whew. So if you order both of them, you're you're getting 50% off in one day. What a deal. It's basically a steal. So I think that's it. We will see y'all Thursday. We have some special guests. And, you know, the topic, at least for the first part of the episode, may be swingerism. Did I, is that a word? Yeah. I made it up. Or yeah. maybe I didn't. It's vocab. Yeah. And, um, and so tune in Thursday. And... If you haven't yet, if you loved this episode, go put us a rating in. If you hated this episode, go put a rating in. Um, And tell some friends. That is how you help out Bloody Happy Hour. Rate, review, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Yep. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, we have our videos on YouTube. Um, And you can email us if you have, if you're getting like a, Bloody Happy Hour Tattoo, you want to show it to us, what it looks like, go ahead and send it to us. Um, Also, if this is your first time tuning in, your Tuesday, our Tuesday episodes, it's just news. It's really quick. Our Thursday episodes are the real deal. We'll tell you a full story and all the details. So tune in on Thursday as well. And most importantly, don't forget to stay aware, stay alive, and always be DTF. Down to find, not down to like this. FAQ. Like this girl was. Not or not down to be like Megan Hall. Or don't let it make national news if you do. Please don't video it and don't make sure it's not on the body cam. Don't do it at work. Don't do it at work. She did it. She went home and she did it in the jacuzzi with the threesome with the other cops. Oh. Don't be telling your business then. Bye y'all. Bye.
thank you. We appreciate you. We love you. Everything's great. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast. 